Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Fun Fold Friday. I'm Doreen DeSebas, and I'm from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and I am pre-recording this video tonight because I am going live for our last session of our catalog launch party at 6 p.m., and I didn't want you to miss this week's Fun Fold Friday. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make an accordion fold, and I showed this card during my live the other night. I didn't make it, but I showed it and said that I'd be sharing it. So this is a fun accordion fold. And tonight, um, this one was made with the Zany Zoo set, but tonight we are going to make our fun fold card with the earthen textures. So excited. This was my absolute favorite sweet when I saw the new catalog and I couldn't wait to order it. It came in yesterday, so I thought I would use it tonight for this. So let me just, um, let me just talk about this for a minute. It is a cling stamp set, so it's rubber and it is a sweet and a bundle. And in the bundle, remember you get the dies and the stamps for 10% off. So it's a great deal. I also, um, I'm going to be using tonight the designer series paper from it. I'm not going to be using the ribbon from it. I'm going to use a different ribbon for tonight, but I will show you that ribbon. Let me see. Um, this is what the ribbon looks like. It is a really pretty, um, it's called a wavy trim ribbon, and I will be using that and sharing that with you later. So let me set this aside and let's get started. I just want to give you a couple of reminders. Remember to... Um, say hi, um, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook. Make sure you take the time to follow my page or subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you did that. So thanks in advance. So I have everything written right here. I'm not sure how clear that's coming in, but um, I will, as I've done in the past, I will post this on in the comments on Facebook and I'll post it on YouTube as well. So I'm using the new Pecan Pie cardstock. It is such a pretty brown. It's different from the other browns that we've had in the past. So it's a nice addition to our new colors with the color refresh. You can learn more about the color refresh at six o'clock. That's what I'll be doing during my live. And it is four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I am going to score it in four different places. So I'm going to start scoring it at two and a half, then three and three quarters. And then I'm going to move down to six and three quarters. And then finally at eight and a quarter. So there we go. So let me just go over that again. I'm, I scored it at two and a half three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and at eight and a quarter. And that's all the scoring you need to do. It's a kind of cool card that is made with just one sheet of paper. You don't need to add anything for the accordion. Okay, so as I showed you in the card, um, we have kind of looks like a Z fold when you open it. But the way we're gonna be folding it, it's going to be a mountain fold and then a valley fold, then a mountain fold, and then a valley fold. So we're going to start with our mountain fold, and I'm going to use my scoring tool. Then we're going to go to a valley fold, and then we're going to go to our mountain fold, and then we've got our valley fold. It will fit in a standard envelope, so there we go with our folds. Now, um, I'm going to do some stamping. So I'm just going to set this aside and then I'm going to show you what else we're going to need for this card. So I am going to be using the um, Pecan Pie ink and Misty Moonlight ink. And I am going to be stamping three of the images from the set. So I've got this kind of wheat looking um, plant that I will be stamping in the pecan. It has, it's just a beautiful image there. 
and then I'm going to be stamping this kind of flowy, another kind of weedish kind of image. So let me just stamp that right here. And don't those look great? And then I don't need this. And I'm going to then stamp with my Misty Moonlight the base. I'm so happy that Misty Moonlight came back. Just one of my favorite all-time colors. I am really a blue person, purple person, some red too. And this is just, you know, along with Night of Navy, I just love it. So we have this beautiful detailed vest, vest, excuse me, detailed vase. And what I'm going to do is use my die cuts from the set to cut these images out. So, as I've said in other presentations, one of my favorite stamping tools is the post-it note tape. I get this on Amazon. Stamping Up doesn't sell it. But what it allows me to do is to put, especially on my stamped images, I don't often do it with my images that are just being um cut out of solid um, cardstock. But on my stamped images, I often use it because I'm taking the time to stamp it, taking the time to get it lined up so it's going to cut perfectly. And I just don't want to take a chance that as I start moving those dies that they start moving a little bit. So that is why I make sure that I take the time to just adhere them down. And then I know I'm not going to have to stamp it a second time. Okay, so those are all set to go. I'm going to set that aside because I've already cut them out. So let me show you what the images look like um, cut out. So we have the vase. Oh, I also have this die that I'm cutting out with um, Lost Lagoon. We have the first image the second image and then I did cut out two of the vases for the two plants and I cut out using Lost Lagoon a returning color um, I cut out the um, greenery okay so what else do I need for paper I am going to need I'm going to use some of the designer series paper that matches the pecan pie and I need three pieces one piece is going to be three and three quarters by three and three quarters the second piece is going to be three and three quarters by three and one quarter and the final piece is going to be three and three quarters by two and then for berry vanilla I'm putting I'm layering this on the berry vanilla so there's something in between the pecan pie and this paper I need a, a piece that is four by four four by three and a quarter and then I'm doing a smaller piece I don't want to cover up the whole piece of designer series paper um, because I am going to use this on, on the top of it so it's going to be a little different you'll see um, that I did this here um, I guess I could put it on the um, maybe I should put it on the vanilla we'll cut another piece of vanilla for that and then I'm putting a piece on the top here um, that is um, one and four one and one one and one quarter by three since this is three and three quarter by two I am just gonna cut another piece of vanilla to um, get us just have it match wasn't thinking about that when I was designing this so we will add a piece that is just that quarter inch bigger so it will be four by two and a quarter there we go so what I'm going to do is start putting this together I have one more thing to stamp and it's going to be stamped on the smaller piece of paper I do want to have a little greeting and I'm actually using the greeting from wonderful thoughts and I'm doing that because I want just a small greeting so I don't want to have this you know rather large um, greeting 
on this little piece of paper. So I'm just going to put at the top of it a little hello, which I think will be perfect for this card. All right, so all of our stamping is done. So let's start adhering things. So you can see this beautiful misty moonlight on the back of this paper, just kind of a nice, um, a nice, um, you know, be a nice background. Okay, so we have that is going to go there. This is going to be mounted on. I'm going to take on this piece here, use some of my liquid glue, and I'm going to put this piece right up at the top. I might have to cut a little bit of the a little bit of the stem off and we'll see but I'm going to put that right up to the top because I want this piece to go over it but to have some of the greenery popping out so that's our first the third panel the inside panel so let's get this layered on and then I'm going to add that to the inside this is the only one that goes all the way down onto the cardstock. So we'll just put that centered right in the middle there. Now, the next piece is the middle size piece. It is the vanilla is the four by three and a half, and the designer series paper is three and three quarters by three and a quarter. So let me add my adhesive. and let me decorate this it's easier to once we've got this on it's just a little easier to decorate if i do it before i put it on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this piece i am going to cut the stem off a little bit because it is a little um too long so i am going to have so you just get an idea i am going to have it looks something like this. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more, but that's what we're going to do. And so I'm just going to cut this greenery down a little bit as well. So I am going to want this to go like this. And then this is going to be coming out of the back. So I'm going to put a little bit of, of glue on the back of this and then I'm going to attach my pieces so they are right where I want them to be like I said this is just my kind of set I love things that have to do with nature so it just for me doesn't get you know just doesn't get any more perfect than this so this is going on this side, so I want to just add a little adhesive there for this piece of greenery. There we go. And now I can just add some more. So it all goes on this panel. So much fun. The one thing, I don't often use the um, liquid glue, but the one thing it does allow you to do is reposition your piece as you're putting it on. All right, so this piece is going to go here. What I want to make sure is that on this side, I don't put any adhesive because it's going to stick out from the panel. So now this piece is going to be at it and now we just need to finish with the front panel so I'm going to add this piece of designer series paper to the front and again I'm going to add my images so let me add some adhesive 
to the back. That was a lucky drop. And I'm going to add my wheat. Have it coming out one side. Then I'm going to add my greenery. And then add some adhesive. And then this piece is going to go on to the front. Oh, I just love it. This is the first card I'm making with this. Like I said, I just quickly designed it because I, oh, I just love it. All right. So we're also going to use, as I said, this um, pecan pie um, bordered ribbon. And it's going to go on the front after I put this on. So this is going to go on just this piece. So now that there's a bigger piece, I'm going to actually for this one just put my adhesive right on here so that I don't have to worry about um, missing a spot. So we'll center that. Oh, how beautiful is this looking? Oh, I love it. And then we're going to take... Let's see, where did I put my little ribbon? Well, I might have to make another one because it seems that I have misplaced it. How many times does that happen to you when you're crafting that? You think you've made something and it's probably right in front of your face and then it disappears. That happens to me all the time. It's one of my most frustrating parts about crafting. So I'm going to just um, just make a bow. I usually make my bows right on the ribbon so that I don't waste very much ribbon. There's always going to be a little bit of waste when you um, make a bow, but I want that waste to be as minimal as it can be. So you can see that this is all that I wasted and that makes my ribbon last so much longer. So I'm going to use a glue dot to attach it. And I am going to put this bow right on my vase. Oh my goodness, what a sweet, sweet card. So this is called an accordion fold. Um, you can see that it will stand up, so there's no issues with that. There's a place for you to write a very brief message, but you have all these panels on the back that you could add um, right into the middle here, another piece of very vanilla cardstock if you have more of a message. Oh, this set is going to be one of my favorites. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's Fun Fold Friday. I hope you join me. You check out um, tonight's color refresh video and check out Leslie's video at 7 o'clock. Um, and I hope you have a great weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful in the Northeast. And I hope you have a great week ahead. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday on Fun Fold Friday. Good night, everybody.